Today we're going to be importing sand from Houdini to Cinema 4D. Today I'm going to be using this SpongeBob model right over here. We got it from Sketchfab. You can use any model you'd like. You can find this project file in the description. It's for free. But let's start from scratch. First start by hitting tab, typing in geo, geometry, place it anywhere, go inside of it, and then type in file. And click anywhere. And then on the file, click on this little logo right here and then find your FBX or OBJ. And then you will see your model pop up. Let's add a transform. Connect file to transform. For translate, put, put about 15. And then to view it, you have to click the little I button. 15 was too much. Let's do like five. Two, motherfucker, what the fuck is it? All right, two, looks fine. We can go back to OBJ, just hit on this one. All right, next, we're just, just gonna do the sand. So let's just highlight this. Go over to grains. You can have a couple options right here. You have dry sand, wet sand, sandbox, and all of these. Personally, I'm just gonna use dry sand. Just hit it once, and then it's gonna load up. If you hit play, nothing is, nothing much is gonna happen. It's just going to fall down. For the collider, I'm going to add just a simple plane. Go to collisions, hit on ground plane. Now, if you hit play, you'll see it's colliding with the ground. Now let's fix up this particle separation. All right, let's go to auto dope network. Click on green update, change it. Change the particle separations to 0.01. If you want a more detail than this, just go lower. Let's go back to grain particles. We're gonna now export our little simulation. Hit tab, type in ROP and add Alembic output. Connect import grain to rope Alembic. Click right here to choose where you wanna save the file. Name it whatever and then add. All you have to do is click save to disk. Now we have to wait. When it's done, you can exit Houdini, go to Cinema 4D now, and then simply drag your ABC file. Mine was quite big, it was eight gigabytes. Have these settings, except the frame rate. Whatever frame rate your Houdini was, have that set in here. I don't remember mine, but 30 works for me. Click OK, and then if you just drag or hit play, you'll see it play. It looks very nice, actually. All right, let's pop our Octane Live Viewer and nothing is gonna show up. So you're going to need to add an extrude. And then on the live window, click on objects, add Octane Scatter. Next, add a sphere. May, I'm, I'm going to make my sphere 0 0.01. The sphere will be your sand. Click on the sphere, hit C, put the sphere under, put the sphere under octane scatter, put the green particles under extrude, go to octane scatter, for the surface, click the little pen tool and click on the green particles. Now you can see it right here. If you want to give him a texture, material, whatever, make a cook one right now. This works for me. And then just drag it into the sphere. And then it will update. You can add a plane. You can see.